new 38-ton class excavator, HX 380AL Stage 5 model has been released. Today, we will look at the heavy-duty model suitable for truck loading of large capacity. First of all, the attachment has been changed to green-gray color. It has the advantage that contaminants such as grease flowing out of the bushing are not easily visible. It is equipped with a 1.6 cubic meter bucket for use in the quarry. The tooth is also equipped with a sharp, sturdy type. All the bushings are changed to dimple type for better lubrication and durability. Side bumpers installed as standard on new models give better protect your machine. Heavy duty model provides full track guard as standard to prevent track taking out. The undercover has been more thickened as before to increase the strength. There is an air compressor, fuel filler pump, grease can storage and grease gun holder inside the toolbox. And the urea sensor module has also been moved into the toolbox for ease of maintenance and especially filter replacement. Urea level can be easily checked through the level gauge installed next to the urea inlet. This model has a dry air cleaner, but the oil bath cleaner is also available. The air compressor is installed under the boom. And all the working lights and beacon lamp have been changed to LED. The engine cowl has been changed to open only the central part of the engine from the way that the hole is opened. The cowl has been changed to a lightweight material called SMC, a plastic material made of glass fiber, and the size is also greatly reduced, so the door can be opened without big power. and can be closed lightly when just press the button on the handle. The engine is a Cummins six-cylinder, and the EGR has been removed, so failures such as blockage of the EGR cooler do not happen anymore. The after-treatment device has been changed to one can type, so it is small, simple, and convenient for maintenance. A protector is installed on the turbocharger to prevent burns. The fan is a clutch type. And the engine oil is able to be easily checked due to the improved cowl. The cover for cooling water replenishment was separately installed for better convenience. The replacement cycle of the first and second fuel filter was 1000 hours, which was doubled compared to the previous one. In particular, a fuel shut-off valve cock is installed next to the fuel filter, allowing easy replacement of the filter. The mesh screen of the side cover is a bolting type and can be easily replaced if necessary. The hydraulic oil level gauge is exposed to the outside and can be easily checked, but it does not protrude to prevent damage. Next to the master switch, a light was installed to indicate the operating status of the purging pump. Be careful not to turn off the master switch when the light is on. The visibility of the lower left corner of the cabin has been improved. And grease nickels are installed on the door hinges for regular maintenance. An emergency engine stop switch is installed at the bottom of the seat to stop the engine on the ground when emergency situations. 
the pedal and foot wrist are designed ergonomically. Design points are added to the air conditioning vents with a yellow strip. The haptic switch has been moved forward than before so that the wrist is not excessively bent. A drive straight switch is provided that allows you to go straight with just one pedal. This is ideal when working along roads, banks, and trenches, and when traveling long distances. The auto safety lock function prevents accidents because the equipment does not operate even when the safety lever goes up in a situation where various levers are pressed. The Eco Report, which informs the driver's driving habits, helps to achieve high efficiency. The seat can be adjusted in seven positions, chair alone, chair and console, air suspension, chair degree, cushion control, joystick, and armrest height. That's it for today. Thanks for watching it. I'll be back with another model.